Scientists here in Utah have discovered they can track the coronavirus in our wastewater. The results from a sewage sampling pilot program give hope for an early detection of the virus in our communities. New specialist Jed Bull is live with the gross sounding but important story, Jed. <laughs> That's right, Deanie. You know, two months ago, researchers in our state started testing our sewage for the coronavirus. And they discovered that all that we flush away can give them a pretty good estimate of the prevalence of the coronavirus in a community without testing everyone. Big picture, we were able to discover that we can indeed um, see and track uh, the virus in sewage. Confirming what scientists at the Division of Water Quality and three of our universities set out to discover. Two months ago, they started to measure the coronavirus in sewage entering 10 treatment plants. We can do more than just track it. We can actually quantify the amount of virus in the sewage. That allows us to see broad trends in community level infections. Highest concentrations of the virus were found in urban areas. Information that could help prioritize the use of our state's limited resources. Rather than testing each individual person in the community, we can do a community-wide sampling in the wastewater. Significant cost savings to the state, I think, gives the public health partners great information. They also found monitoring for coronavirus in sewage offers a tool for early detection of rising infections. The virus was found in the water entering all 10 sewage treatment plants, but it was not detected in the treated water leaving the plants. Last month, spikes in the virus were measured in the sewage headed to plants in Logan and Hiram. That trend reflects the increase in active cases reported for Cache Valley. But they're still trying to zero in on rates of infection. Unfortunately, the science isn't there yet, but we're going to continue investigation over the summer, maybe into the fall, and try to answer that question. And the next step is to figure out how we can use that information to our benefit in our communities. At the same time, the state will start to expand the number of wastewater treatment plants where they're doing the sampling for COVID-19. Guys? What an interesting discovery. Jed, thanks.